lady and welcome to my channel. I know something's different here, isn't it? <laughs> you see, I did not mean for the hair to be this vibrant. I picked up some Arctic Fox hair products a little while ago because I saw them on Instagram and I was like, ooh, those are cool. I'm going to try it. And I was like, but I'm only going to put it on for like a little bit of time. So that way it's just like a kiss, a kiss of like a red color. 10 minutes and I turned out like a fire engine. But anyways, my husband thinks it's cool. I'm not really allowed to have this at work, so that's a problem. I'm going to be washing my hair a lot this weekend. <laughs> uh, but anyways, that is not what this video is about. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much. I'm so excited that you're here. I'm going to be doing a review of the new Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen, if you haven't heard about it. It is a product to help you get very hair-like strokes in your brow. I was actually sent this by Influencer, which I'm so excited about. Uh, so yes, if you want to see how I got these brows today, if you want to hear my thoughts, see how I've used it over the last week, then just keep watching. I've been wanting to try a good brow pen. I've definitely used brow pens before. I've picked up a couple cheapy ones at the drugstore. I've tried the ones with like the three tip. Guys, I don't know about you, but they did not work for me. They looked terrible. They were not easy to use. I was not a fan. So I had high hopes for this because Anastasia is kind of top tier brow game, really. I mean, I feel like she takes the cake for brow products. I'm not super familiar with her products, but I know I see them on YouTube a lot, like a lot, a lot. This comes in at $22. It's actually a little bit more affordable than I thought it would be. When I first received this, I was honestly thinking it was probably gonna come in the $30 range. I am in the shade medium brown, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it from the Sephora website. It is a waterproof, super fine tipped pen ideal for creating realistic hair strokes that give your most natural looking brows yet. Now, I wanna say, I feel like I should have invented this because I actually was using a brown eyeliner for a while on my eyebrows because I was like, What's really the difference between an eyebrow pen and a brow pen? Nothing, really. <laughs> but anyways, let's give this a test. I'm going to show you how I prefer to use the product. Uh, I don't have anything on my brows yet today, but I also am going to insert some clips of different ways that I've worn it and how it looks. So that way you guys can get like the full spectrum of this product. Okay, it says to shake, 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 shake. So let's make sure we shake it up real good. I do recommend having some type of spoolie whether it's a regular spoolie or a spoolie attached to another brow product i like to prep the brow hairs i have just been doing self-care for my brows at home ever the dog wants to say hi to you guys ever since the whole pandemic situation i've just gotten used to doing my brows at home so that's what i've been doing i feel like it's shooken up pretty good i am gonna leave it tipped down for just a minute while i get started on the process. I personally have found for me and the brow style I like, I honestly need two products. So is that the end of the world to me? No. Would I love for it to be a one and done? Yes, I would. If you are balling on a budget, I feel like that could be a real downside. Again, depending on what kind of brows you like. If you love just like the natural look with a little bit of fluff and some natural hair like strokes then you don't need to i personally just feel like i look better and more balanced with a little more filled in a little more structured brow so that's what i'll be doing right now i'm going in with my cheapie so at least this is only like two bucks so we're at like 24 25 bucks all together for the brow look i can live with that it's not like break the bank let me move my, my mirror in closer so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've been going in with my e.l.f. brow pencil first to kind of get the shape, get the fill I want, and then I use the pen for the really hair-like strokes that I prefer in the front of my brow. Now that I'm up close, I see a hair I'm not okay with. Okay, there we go. Nothing crazy, just a simple fill. I really feel like that makes a big difference for having a little fuller, more structured brow. So I'm gonna stop there. I, I went in about three-fourths of the way on the brow. Now we're gonna go back to this bad boy. 
I have found some things that work. You almost need to come in from above the brow for me. That seems to work for me. It seems to make my hand and brain coordinate better where I'm not getting really thick lines, lines that don't look hair-like. I find it's just easier for me if I come in, keep the point down like it's the root of the hair, and then lightly stroke up. Definitely a light hand. Like, if you want it to be really hair-like, you cannot put too much pressure. It's honestly just like in a winged eyeliner. It is a felt tip, right? Yeah, these are not bristles. It's a felt tip, and it's definitely less pigmented, less impactful than an eyeliner, but the shape and design is the same. Let's do this. I won't be able to talk because I need to focus. Here we go. So that took like no time at all, uh, real time, very quick and efficient for getting that very natural soft front of the brow, which I have really been enjoying. But for me, I just need that more filled in outer portion to really get the look I want. So let's do it one more time on this eye. I definitely like my left brow better today. That's always the case. Um, but I wanna insert those clips real fast before we discuss this product and what I really think. So this is my first try using the new Anastasia brow pen. I did enjoy it. I do feel like I need some practice and I do feel like I need some brow gel. So I'm gonna pick that up tonight and try again tomorrow. But this is first try, so I think pretty good for the first time. What do you no brow pencil, just the brow pen but I did use a brow gel to get more of a laminated brow. And then the last video is like I did today, just filled in with a pencil and then using the brow pen to get the hair-like strokes in the front. Would I recommend this product to you guys? Honestly, I would. I really, really like it. It works far better than any other brow pen I have used. Do I feel like it's something you have to have? No, and I'm gonna tell you why. I can get the exact same look in the front of my brow with a brown eyeshadow or any type of brow powder in a really nice, fine, angled, winged liner brush. I can get the exact same fluffy strokes with this brush, some powder, and going right in the front. So if you are on a budget and you already have a winged liner brush and you already have some brow powder or some eyeshadow that matches your brows, Honestly, you can get the exact same look. You don't need this product. Do I think this product is good? I really do. I'm really impressed with it. It is easy to use. The first time I did feel like, the first time I used it, I did a little heavy handed. It wasn't quite as natural or fluffy as I was hoping for. But honestly, by the next time I used it, I was kind of getting the hang of it. And that is where I found the coming from a more upward angle and pulling it up really gave me the look I was going for. If you do mess up and you go a little heavy handed, you can kind of go in with the finger and tap it out a bit, but I think it's one that you kind of want to practice with and get used to before a special occasion because I don't feel like it's foolproof and I don't feel like it's the easiest to correct if you went like crazy and put way too much in a spot. It's got a little bit of wiggle room, but not much. It does stay on really well. I haven't had any issues with it rubbing off during the day. It doesn't like smear all over when I'm wearing my sunglasses and that actually can be a real problem for me. Having more oily skin, wearing sunglasses, I will sometimes find my eyebrows have like transferred way up above their, where they're supposed to be. So I haven't noticed anything like that. I do wonder, I've only had this for like, oh, I think I've been using it for basically a whole week now. I do wonder if this will dry out quickly or not because it's not 
super wet. It's not like in eyeliner because it's a brow pen and you wouldn't want it to be that pigmented. So see those, it's so fine it's almost hard to see on camera and the just the texture of the product is more airy, more translucent than a liquid liner. So I, I just wonder if this would dry out quickly. Again, I don't know. I've only had it for a week, but my gut has kind of been like, hmm, this might dry out quickly. If you've had one for a while, let us know down below if you feel like it dries out quickly, because I don't know. I just, I feel, I feel like it could. Other than that, I really like this product. I'm having fun playing with it. I have enjoyed the look I've been able to get. I've enjoyed the longevity of the product, and honestly, it's pretty easy to use with just a little bit of practice. So overall, I definitely would recommend it if you're looking for a new way to step up your brow game. But like I said, if you're balling on a budget, there are ways to get that same fluffy brow, that same hair-like look without having to buy a new product. And in case you're wondering real fast uh, what I've used for brow gel, I actually saw this on Amanda Ensing. Uh, she mentioned this, so I picked up this Got To Be Glued Spiking Gel, and it actually works pretty good for brow gel. I don't know if it's like better than brow gel, but you get a lot of product for a couple bucks from the drugstore, and it's real handy just to set it here on my desk. And then I've been going in with a little spoolie, picking up a little product, and then this can really step it up to the next level, I feel like, if you like that fluffy hair like brow just gives a little oomph a little something something to the brow i haven't been doing this every day that i've used it but on those days i want to be a little extra i have used this and i have been enjoying this as a gel and you can kind of press the hair down as it dries to really get that laminated look so tell me what you guys think brow gel, no brow gel. Definitely leave down below if this is something you would reach for or if you've used it out, what your thoughts are. Thank you so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate it. I have missed you guys. I'm going to try to be a little bit more regular with my videos, but if you haven't seen my latest update, I am now expecting my first child, so things have been a little crazy. My energy levels have been a little bit different. My mind has kind of been in another place, so I'm trying my best to balance it all and figure out this new way of doing things, but I'm very excited to be hanging out with you guys. So thank you again for being here. And as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.